His mother got him work as an extra on a, as a child for The Magnificent Yankee, which was directed by the John Sturgis, and of course this started his film career. And after graduation, he moved to New York where he studied acting, and he signed a seven-year contract with Fox. To, uh, it was a mistake he realized he should have gotten out of, and he got out of it as soon as he could. And one of the law's uh, Italian films was seen by a director by the name of uh, Norman Jewison, who thought Law was perfect for the role of a young Soviet sailor and the Russians are coming. And the rest is history. He went on to play in uh, Barbarella with uh, Jane Fonda. He also got to star on several, uh, you know, I would say films that were, uh, you know, that uh, were part of the counterculture during that time. He, uh, which include uh, that led in the sergeant. Uh, he also starred in a Mario Bava film because he was a comic book person. He loved comic books, so he starred in Danger Diabolique, which is, of course, one of Mystery Science Theater's uh, best uh, shows uh, where they do the riffs for Danger Diabolique. And, of course, he would uh, go on to other B movies later in his life, uh, starring along. Uh, you know, notable B-movie stars in, like, in Space uh, Mutiny with Red Brown. He starred in uh, some of the, uh, one of the movies that was done by Fred Olin Ray. Uh, one of those movies as well. And, of course, uh, you know, John Philip Law is one of those guys you just enjoy seeing him on the screen. He has such a great screen presence. He was the title row uh, in the golden voyage of Sinbad. He was perfect for that role. Uh, and of course, uh, it's one of the uh, great action films that are on, out there. And of course, uh, of course, on December 13th of 2007, he was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer. He died five months later on May 13th of 2008 in his home in Los Angeles. You see John Philip Law in several Mystery Science Theater movies. Space Mutiny is one of those. Danger Diabolique is another. And, uh, of course, you can keep up with him. Uh, and, of course, I remember him most of all from Barbarella, which uh, I love the uh, visuals in that film. And he's uh, notable for uh, part of the new counterculture movement and cinema in the 60s and early 70s. But if you guys want to listen and hear about other B-movie stars, uh, comment in the section below and we'd be happy to feature him right Feature them on the B Cyclepedia. Thank you for watching, subscribing, liking, and sharing. You guys have a wonderful day. Who's your daddy?